everyone, it's Molly Riversea and today we are heading down to Marley's Farm to compete at a hunter jumping show. It is the Marley's Farm Classic with one of my lesson horses, Foxtail. I don't usually compete with the horses in my lesson program, but Foxy is such an incredible hunter's horse. I couldn't help it. I'll be taking you guys through the show prep process and all the behind the scenes that goes on when getting ready for a show. Let's go. Can't do much without a horse, so first things first, got down to the pastures, grabbed her from her field where she was very happily munching. I don't know if she was too pleased to see me today. It was the evening before the show. We'd be spending the night at the ground since our class is first up, bright and early in the morning. So I got her ready, took her down to the barn wash stall because being half white, she of course can't go without rolling in mud. So I had to give her a wash, hosed her, and then worked through her coat with this magic purple shampoo. And the name doesn't lie guys, this stuff is magic. So I put that everywhere on her, including her mane and tail. Once she was rinsed off, I sprayed her coat with this show spray that makes her glow. I always get compliments on how shiny my horses are. I then polished her hooves off with some hoof oil from Nectar that I have been loving, lasts a long time, and really makes horses look professional. With Foxy looking brand new, popped on her shipping boots, and as soon as I put them on, she knew that we were going somewhere, so she gave me a very excited whinny. Foxy loads like an absolute dream, but she does get a little excited when she's in the trailer because she knows she's heading off somewhere. Then we took a short drive down to Marley's farm, which was just a few minutes down the road. When we arrived at the grounds, I left Foxtail in the trailer, which she wasn't very pleased with, to quickly go and set up her stall. Here at the Marley Farms grounds, the stalls aren't matted, so I made sure to bed extra heavy. I unpacked two bags of the Purple Pony fluffy bedding, and she pretty much had hamster bedding with how deep it was. Then I lugged her water buckets in and hung her hay net filled with lots of Timothy as well. I let her have a few minutes just to settle in and have a little munch, and after that, she was pretty much ready to do a bit of school in the show ring. One thing I absolutely love about this horse is she's super relaxed. Whenever she goes out to an arena hire or shows, which is why she makes such a good lesson horse, she's so perfect for those kids in my lesson program who are going to their first shows, need a horse to take care of them, not to blow up on them and make that experience a bad one. Um, but I will say, she definitely can tell when I'm riding her. She's a lot more forward, gives me a little more oomph because she knows that I can handle it. Actually, she was being a little quirky tonight because there was this one cornerish area of the arena that she was getting kind of rushy by and when I got her in the corner she had a baby spook. I just rode her into the corner, did some leg guilt into it until it didn't seem to phase her. You never know when your bomb proof horse is going to decide to not be very bomb proof. Other than that we had a very lovely flat session. She was carrying herself nicely and had a very pretty movement so I felt very confident putting her away that night. <laughs> All right, guys, it is like 9 p.m. I've just tucked in Foxy for the night. She's got her show rug on and hood on, so crossing my fingers, no poo stains tonight, but if there's a will, there's a way, and there is always a will. Anyways, I'll also be sleeping over with her tonight on the grounds. I've rented a room in this quaint little house behind me. Hopefully, I'll sleep well tonight, not thinking about every possibility that could go wrong. Morning, Foxy. show morning everyone it's almost time for a class she's all groomed i've given her a very rough plaid but hopefully the judges won't look too closely now i'm gonna get her tacked up get myself ready you ready for this you're gonna do great and before you knew it it was time to tack up so she had a lovely padded white num num which is of course the classic counter pad style and then i popped on her fitted brown jumping saddle here is her essential brown english bridle which i got as a matching set with the saddle i would love to say i got all this stuff going to all the cute stores that Yorvik has to offer. But in reality, I'm an online shopper and everything she has on today is from the global store. Anyways, she was looking super smart when she was all tacked up. Before I head into the ring to warm up, I figured I would do a little fit check. So starting off with our boots today, I have these very nice classic black riding boots, which I use for all my shows. As for breeches, I went with a classic hunter color. So I wore my beige winter pants. Yes, I know it's summer. I, I know it's already a bad idea because I'm starting to boil. <laughs> then I've got my black competition jacket, which is perfect for the hunter ring. For gloves, I'm using my Rex Stamper Ebony gloves that I use in pretty much all of my jumping shows. They've lasted so long. Then I topped it off with my trusty, effortlessly chic riding helmet. And with that, we are ready to go. 
But really not yet because before we got out competing, there was a little course walk that I definitely took advantage of. So I just got to mapping out all my strides and it really helped me because I was able to go into the round with a lot clearer of a head. And as you guys can see, this is probably one of the most challenging hunter courses I've ever had to compete in. There are so many rollbacks, so many bendy lines and a lot of tight turns, which is gonna prove to be difficult, but I know Foxtail can do it. All the competitors gathered round by the entrance to the arena, and let me tell you, there was quite a long list of people going before me. I like to say at horse shows, we hurry up to wait. No one really prepares you for how much waiting around there is at horse shows, yet you're still always rushed to get to your class. And it started off pretty rough. We had a fall, not even two people in. This girl's horse spooked at something, and before you know it, they were taking off at that fence where there was a rollback. Her horse completely refused, and she came off, but it was honestly incredible because she stuck the landing. I think everyone watching was pretty shocked, but just glad that everyone's okay. And right after that incident, there was another. There was another pair that completely went off course. They just forgot a jump and they were so close. They forgot the second to last jump, which must have been such a bummer. I think she was pretty gutted afterwards, but you know, it happens and you just gotta learn from it the next time. This was one of the funnest rounds I got to watch all day. I love watching drafty breeds jump and this Pertron was no exception. She had such a cute jump. And after lots of sitting and watching, Foxtail and I's names were called and it was time for our round to start. We took off with a nice forward start circle and then bombs away, we were off to the races. The first jump was very nice and collected. She came up to that really lovely. It was a very pretty canter, but I needed to extend it a bit if we wanted to get the proper strides in. After that third jump, collected her around the turn just to prepare for that rollback. I had to kind of collect, extend, collect to be straight on to jump number four. And then we took it back down a notch to gather herself up for jump number five, which was again, another very tight bending line. She took that on really well. And then we had six, which was an awful line. It was at such an angle, but she made it over and she made it look pretty. And pretty much same story for fence seven. I don't know why I was having such a hard time finding my center today, but fence number eight, she totally pulled it together and really collected up on that final turn to number nine and jumped it like a champ. Coming out of the round, I felt really good. She was super attentive, really collected and extended when I needed her to, and she helped me out even though I couldn't exactly find my lines, which is the most basic thing. So things like that just happen sometimes. Sometimes you just forget how to ride, but she was absolutely a superstar. After she was cooled down, it was a pretty hot day. She got a little sweaty, so gave her a sponge bath and then headed back out to the arena while I waited for the award ceremony to watch everyone finish up their rounds. And our reserve champion for the Marley's Farm Classic in the Amateur Novice Division, finishing second, is Molly Riverseed and Foster. still so blown away that this girl got second. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less because she's just a super horse. She knows her job. She loves to do it. She just makes it a blast, even in a high pressure environment like a show. I should probably hit the road though because this girl is gonna be wanting her payment, which means lots of treats, of course. Oh, I said the word. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned to our horsey endeavors here at the Cosmic Equestrian Center. Thanks for watching, bye.